My name is Chrissy Chella. This is my story and how I found it on Active. I'm gonna be taking you through the highs, the lows, and complete transparency because you are the reason Honor Active even exists. You are the reason I am here today sharing my story on this platform. I wanna take you through absolutely everything. There's been so many highlights at Honor Active. It's hard to pinpoint any, but I will pinpoint three. But there have been three significant moments that I think I will carry with me for an absolute lifetime. One of them being our second birthday. That to me was a surreal moment because I finally got to see hundreds, well thousands of women come together from our community. Because we are a digital brand and because we are, you know, a B to C in the sense of we're online, you order, you get your parcel. You don't have that physical interaction. So the fact that we brought a digital service into a real life service was something that is just unexplainable. It was just so surreal seeing so many women. I mean, that one moment, I think I met someone who had a tattoo of our icon on her wrist. That to me, I was like, oh my goodness. First of all, I was like, no one do this again. But if you want, at least show me and send a picture. But second of all, I think it just put in perspective what Honor Active as a brand is doing for, for women and how much they just feel like they're just part of such a beautiful culture where they will never feel alone in the gym, strength training, lifting those weights ever again. So that was a huge significant moment. One of the other highlights was definitely the Varsity capsule launch out of all of the capsules that we've done so far. And the reason being is because it was the first stage of Honor Active showcasing just how much we want to do for women in sports, women in strength training. It is the first little, little sneak peek of what we truly want to do as a brand. And I think it's very, very easy for us to look at how the brand was formed, you know, by like an influencer and, you know, she just wants to make this scrunch bum boogie legging and it's like you have no idea how big this vision is it's so much bigger than any of us in this room and so much bigger than any single person in the community and probably in the world because the vision of what we're trying to do as a brand is going to help generations to come so the varsity capsule launch was the first stage of us introducing what we're going to start doing as a brand and I think the third point, it has to be moving office. For me, coming from working at the Evolve U office because Honor Active was a team of two people to now having a 10,000 square foot office in the heart of London with the most incredible team I could ever ask for and building them an office where they can not only be creative, but they don't wanna leave, they're not leaving. I'm like, why are you here till 8 p.m.? And they want to stay because it's enjoyable and they love what they do and they believe in what they do. Do. And I think for me, it's always about putting the people that make the brand what it is first, putting the vision first, and then everything else will figure itself out. I just think it's, I can't wait to move in and I can't wait to just have a bit more of a routine and have the team settle into their first true home. Now we're all on top of each other and we're all just like, there's like a mixture of different departments from customer support to product to marketing. It just gets very overwhelming when you're at work sometimes. So the fact that people can come to work and actually have their own space and actually have their own department makes it feel so much better. And I just have such a good feeling for when we move into this place. I just think it's gonna be, it's gonna be literally the best year. I can't wait. When it comes to downfalls and hardships, you cannot create something magical without a little tiny bit of insanity and a lot of mistakes. You should be making mistakes as a person, as a brand, because it's, it's where you grow the most. It's from learning from those mistakes and evolving and trying to do the best you can. And I've always said, if you have the purest intention to try your best and do things right the second or third time, that's the best you can do as a human being. Brands do have pressure because it is a consumer-based system. So of course your customer, your community member want the best. They worked hard for their money, they just want the best. And as a brand, we will always strive to be that 1% better. It is within our values to be 1% better, but we are also gonna make shit ton of mistakes. And I almost want the brand to because it's where the most magic happens and it's where the most learning and progression happens the hardest thing has definitely been product i think for me and also building a team i can only speak for my personal self product is so technical 
and the things that you have to learn and the things that you have to finesse and the things you have to consider are so it's so much bigger than anyone and so many things can go wrong in the process so no matter how many times you try and make the process right something will inevitably happen whether that's quality, whether that's supplier, whether that's relationships with your supplier, whether that is shipment, whether that's your relationship with a courier supplier, something will go wrong in that system that you will just have to try over and over again to get right. So I think for me, product has been a huge learning, a huge downfall, a huge education piece that you can come back and be better. So what we've decided to do was I have pulled out a lot of collections from next year because I want to launch incredible collections and I want to do a little bit slower so we focus much more this year for example on capsules and focusing much more on cross merchandising rather than just launching 10 20 different leggings I'd rather start perfecting my craft than just launching so many different leggings so many different bras and then they're not even fit for purpose so slow and steady wins the race and I think that the other one was definitely team didn't realize how hard it was going to be to get the company and the way it's scaling with the right people so I always assumed and this is my own naivety that you will just attract the right people and the reality is it's not as simple as that you have to consider how proactive someone is how much attention to detail they have how much they love the brand how much they believe in what you're saying and how much they're that you're willing to do for them as well as they're willing to do for you but also the biggest one is culture like does this person even fit in to the culture that you have. Each and every single company in the world has a culture and it just naturally has that banter or that culture, that, that feel to it. So if someone doesn't fit into that, it's gonna be very, very hard for them to progress simply on the basis that we don't really work in silo. Everybody works as a team. Everybody connects with each other and there's multiple different personalities and walks of life that come into one bracket and everyone has to, has to be able to work with each other, mesh, respect, and care for each other fundamentally. The learnings and the growth. So number one, I never actually realized how quickly Honor Active would grow organically bootstrap. And it freaks me out a little bit. I wake up every morning and I'm like, uh, what and how and when and why and then I realize I know why because our vision our mission is so clear like to me it's literally clearer than anything in my entire life if someone was like how certain are you about honor I'd be like I will bet my entire life on it and I don't think what if I want to when I say it, I don't think people realize how serious I am and then when they get to know me and work with me they're like this bitch is serious I think for me when I look at honor I'm like you will be the biggest strength training brand for women in the world. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind. And the reason being is number one, strength training to me as a founder is everything. It's what cured, it's what cured me. It's what gave me that willpower, that strength, that resilience, that consistency. And every single time I go for a long period of time without strength training, those values, like they just don't feel like they're there and it's because strength training is so much more than a physical appearance and I know just what moving your body does and I know what it does for your mind your soul your body your aspirations it's just incredible so for me why would you not want the world to feel like that why would you not want the world to feel like that whilst looking good doing it and that is in a nutshell what honor active is it's enhancing your performance and it's enhancing your lifestyle whilst you look good doing it and feeling really confident in the clothes that you're wearing and being able to move freely in it. So the learnings for me was the biggest learning was have confidence. Like, do not doubt yourself ever again with what you're trying to achieve. And it's so easy to doubt yourself in a world where people are doing a million things and you feel like you should be following that path. You feel like it's so saturated, everyone's doing it, so what makes you different? You feel like people around you are not supporting you the way you wish they were supporting you and you start to really self-doubt yourself. And also you have a major imposter syndrome where you just feel like, um, am I supposed to do this? Are we going the right path? Are we doing the right thing? The biggest learning for me was have the confidence go for it jump when it's scary jump when it's hard keep going and the reason being is because like i said your vision and this mission as a brand and what we are trying to do is so much bigger than any of us in this room
So I think the biggest learning for me was never doubt yourself again. Never doubt this brand again. Never doubt what you're trying to do again because you're on the right path. Gosh, what is coming? So many things are coming, so many things are happening. I'm so excited because there's so many new athletes that have joined Honor Active, which is absolutely incredible. Like what an impressive roster of empowerment and what an impressive roster of such beautiful women that have such a vision and mission to help other women lift weights, be strong and build resilience in their life. So that's incredible. We've got so many new faces joining Honor Active that are just gonna spread the word. Number two, we are gonna be working closely with lots of schools to help young women move their bodies more and Honor Active will be kitting them out, which to me is like absolutely everything. And that is exactly what this brand is about. Number three, obviously we've got a new home. So building our new home and making it feel even more magical than our little small one that we had before. Number four is is our third birthday pop-up. That's gonna be a wild ride, yeah? That's hectic, yeah? So that's a lot of work. We're, we're a little bit stressed, but it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So many new products coming out in the sense of capsules, some of the products that you love in new colors, so many cross merchandises and the ability to mix and match and understanding the color formula more and finding those shades that you love and feel so comfortable and confident in. But best of all, we're just having fun, like come to work and have fun. That's the best thing that you can do. And I know there's gonna be stressful times and I know there's gonna be things that are gonna go wrong along the way and I just wanna enjoy it. There's so many times where I perceive problems as stress rather than the excitement to solve them. And I think I wish I I could go back two years ago and tell myself how cool is it that you get to problem solve that you get to figure stuff out and you get to learn and you get to evolve and you get to build a team that's constantly learning evolving so definitely gonna have nights where I cry myself to sleep but I'll have fun doing it Season one of the Honor Active documentary has finished. We hope that you've absolutely enjoyed the journey, the highs, the lows, the learnings, and honestly, just doing this together and best of all, enjoying this extraordinary journey together. We are so excited because season two is around the corner and she is bigger and better than ever before. You are gonna learn so much more. You are gonna see things that you may have not seen before and listen. It's a little bit hectic, but we're gonna have fun whilst we do it. I'll see you next time at Honor Active. We adore you, we love you always and forever, and we can't wait to spread the message that strength training is beautiful, and you, as a woman, is what the world needs.